welcome to Fashion Link Now. As you know, my name is Anna Vasilievich and as you see, I'm in Paris. Bonjour, or should I say hello from Paris. Paris, city of light, city of fashion. I will be sharing my short stay with you and I hope it will be very adventurous and exciting. And since Paris is the city of fashion and the center of fashion, I hope you will like this short video about Paris fashion story. So let's go. Hello from Paris again and bonjour from a beautiful weather in Paris as you can see. Uh, I just crossed the Notre Dame and as you know Notre Dame part of the church was burned and um, I hope they will be able to repair it because it looks completely different from the last time I saw it personally. But the point uh, is to say that now I'm in between Louvre and Notre Dame, I'm walking by the river Seine and um, there is across the Notre Dame there is also one of the famous districts called Les Halles. And it is famous also for as a shopping district, let's say, uh, with the luxurious fashion houses. But also we are heading toward the Louvre, where there is also some of the districts, and towards the Champs Elysees, where also some districts for with, with shopping streets. So um, we'll browse a little bit and see how that looks like now. And um, well, come on, let's go. that Paris is famous for or known for are definitely these greenish stands that are surrounding the River Seine and if you like fashion posters or fashion illustrations this is definitely a place to come and shop also you can find some old books and also you can find some paintings inspired by Paris and of course done by Parisian artists so area around Seine, River Seine is surrounded by all these stands and you can just enjoy by walking and shopping. If you are in Paris you definitely don't want to miss one of the big fashion stores such as Samaritan or Galleries Lafayette. Paris was always fa famous for this big fashion stores that were surrounded by and filled with uh, famous brands and famous fashion designers and if you want to see the old style of shopping this is definitely a place to visit. I am now in a district called Rivoli and I'm just at the entrance of a Louis Vuitton fashion house and on the other side uh, there is a bar restaurant called Kong and the reason why I'm mentioning this restaurant is I was in this restaurant and if you want to get a sneak peek into the studios of Louis Vuitton this is definitely a great restaurant to visit not just to eat but also I get a small view on the studios of Louis Vuitton because it's just across of the fashion house. We are now in uh, Colonnade so it's a front part of the Louvre. Louvre one of the most famous art museums in the world and if you're in the fashion and if you're in the art in general, this is a must-have in Paris. One of the biggest museums in the world with one of the greatest collections of all artists, world well-known artists, so inspiration is everywhere. We are now at the Place Colette and here on, in front of me is a, a famous Comédie Française. On my right side is a Louvre and if you go on that side you will hit Paris Opera. At my back 
if where we are going now is the Saint Honor, it's a fashion district and they say it's a heart of the fashion scene. Many famous designers have shops there, but there are also uh, local designers, independent designers and also some interesting concept stores. So let's check it out. We are now in a district called Louvre Tuileire and we are now in the Rue saint Honor. And as you can see behind me is Balenciaga, in front of me is Paul Smith uh, and the whole street is full of the famous fashion designer names but also some independent French uh, designers and brands. And um, if you want to buy something in Paris, besides of course clothes, bags, shoes, one of the things that you must have from Paris are definitely perfumes. And this street is full of shops where you can find um, really nice uh, perfumes and independent shops. So definitely the street must have in Paris. As you can see behind me, I'm trying out Macaro. If you're in Paris, this is definitely a must. It's one of my favorite sugar sweets, uh, forbidden things to eat, but um, I took a couple of them and I will try it out right now. If you're into exploring the true soul of Paris, this is definitely a place to be. Montmartre is famous for uh, its artistic scene and some of the most famous artists lived and worked exactly in this district. Um, I'm heading over the Moulin Rouge, but if you're into the shopping, this shopping area, I'm now in the Rue Abbesses. And this shopping area is filled with local markets, small shops, um, local food, and local French designers. So it's definitely something that you need to see. Talking about French 
French fashion style, well, it's considered to be very sophisticated into simplicity with a lot of eclectic details. And if you're in Montmartre area, you will be able to see a lot of local French designers not following the current fashion trends, but making fashion as itself. So it's a beautiful to walk around and explore something different than the other maybe fashion centers in other cities. If you're in Paris, Gallery Lafayette is a must. I'm at the rooftop and as you can see, be behind me is an opera and behind, behind me is an Eiffel Tower. And the reason why I'm here is um, because Gallery Lafayette is one of the oldest fashion stores in Paris, showcasing fashion designer collections for now 100 and 25 years. So if you're in Paris, if you're into fashion, this is definitely a place to visit. Not only because of this beautiful rooftop view, but also because all the designers are also here in this place, at one place. Wow.